once upon a time, in a kingdom not so far away, there existed two kingdoms, Kingdom Epithelium and Kingdom Stromalia. The great sea of Dazolaminum separated these two kingdoms, and none dared to cross the water, as it was full of Fibrin and the great serpentine collagen. Kingdom Stromalia was a beautiful land where cells lived in harmony. They divided regularly, respecting the ancient covenant of cell cycle controls. All signaling was timely, and the kingdom's borders were secure. With not a threat in sight, the cells continued to live their lives, but this all would soon change. Not much was known about Kingdom Epithelium, only that it was on the other side of the Great Sea. The elders told stories about the cells of Epithelium. They enjoyed smoking the pipe and spent countless hours basting in the sun. Kingdom Epithelia became a kingdom of terror. They say it started with only one cell, but now it is a land full of uncontrollable growth. Cells divide constantly with no respects for the covenants of cell cycle control or the laws of contact inhibition. The cancerous army of Epithelia began its journey to invade Kingdom Stromalia. Sir Dendritus, Knight of Langerhans, sounded a warning to his kingdom, but it would prove futile. The army of Cancer, having invaded the castle of Stromalia, begins to colonize the new land, continuing to divide rapidly and overwhelm the native cells. As the terror unfolds, an unlikely hero readies themselves for battle. The Order of Oncolysis, an ancient group, were formed to fight for justice and to protect the cells from invaders deployed a real vile attack of epic proportions. Targeting the very properties that made these invaders so powerful, the Order of Oncolysis was able to attack the epithelial army while shielding the native cells. The real vile assault proved deadly for the invaders. The power of Oncolysis allowed the assault vectors to replicate within the cancer cells causing them to burst, spreading the virus throughout their villainous ranks. Boosted by the Oncolysis assault, the resident dendrites of Kingdom Stromalium joined the assault to save their land. They used the remains of the cancer cells to summon a legion of cytotoxic T-cells, activated with the sole purpose of destroying the invaders. The T-cells attacked furiously, destroying all cancer in their path. 